many ad hominem attacks. No attempt to just debunk it. So yeah. Can, can you not debunk again the free blog website? <laughs> 1997. Apparently the largest investigation of all time. I haven't had a chance to talk about it until now. Candace Owens is on the case. All right. It's time to learn a thing or two about the greatest secret of all time. This episode is blowing up, so I just want to say, after looking into this, I would stake my entire professional reputation on the fact that Brigitte Macron is in fact a man. Any journalist or publication that is trying to dismiss the plausibility is immediately identifiable as establishment. I've never seen anything like this in my life. The implications here are terrifying. I do not intend to let this story or to let up on this story, and I'm calling on other journalists of any credible repute to be able to back her up on this, uh, to look into the explosive story and report accordingly. Seems fair? Let's see the evidence in the case. I would say this is probably the largest we can ever tell, we can always tell investigation of all time. If you didn't know, cis folk are obsessed now with basically investigating whether or not uh, other cis folk are secretly trans and then exposing them to the world, often uh, to the absolute shock and embarrassment of everyone around them. Because, like, what are you talking about? And and they never stop, by the way. They're, they're constantly picking new targets. Anyone they don't like eventually begins uh, to be investigated uh, by, by people of that ill repute. Um, but I don't think I've ever seen it on this large a scale. I mean, I guess there is the racism that was directed towards uh, Michelle Obama. Uh, I was going to say up into, but it's still going on, where a lot of right-wingers will claim that Michelle Obama is a man. If you want a really good look into the intersectionality between uh, the racism towards black women as well as the transphobia and uh, trans misogyny that also occurs, uh, I would go check out Alur Nadi's new video on the topic. It is excellent and it goes into great detail on that way better than I ever could in a couple minutes here. Um, but we now have is Francis First Lady secretly All right, guys, man. happy Monday. I hope you had a, but I'm, you just prepare yourself for what I'm is ready. happening right now in France. So let me give you guys the background. Emmanuel. My yeah, Taylor Swift too. Yeah, I, I saw uh, the investigation of Margot Robbie happened last year. Again, uh, I would say to the utter embarrassment of the people who are trying to do these investigations. I mean, every single one of them. I mean, you know, you can go back as when they were saying all that kind of stuff about Michelle Obama. I was like, wow, that seems like a, a racist trope that never will quit. Also, Michelle Obama, seriously? Uh, e either way, um, and I'm not here to, uh, you know, suddenly direct the male gaze towards all the people who are being investigated. It doesn't matter if they're cis or trans, you know, there, there's gorgeous people who are cis, gorgeous people who are trans. Uh, the, 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 doesn't play as big of a role in this as uh, you know someone like Candace Owens might make it out to be. Macron is the play what their official narrative has been. The official narrative is that when Emmanuel was just 15 years old, he was a drama student at a school, and his teacher was Brigitte. And while he was very young, they somehow managed to fall in love. That would have made Brigitte way too old to be falling in love with a 15 or 16 or 14 year old, depending on which article you're yeah. reading. But yes, apparently she was just so moved from his depth, this little boy's depth and the poetry and the way that he would write, that they fell in love so much so that the now first lady left her then husband, despite the fact that they had three kids. Okay, so that's the background story. Nobody cares. Doesn't matter. It happened so long Delicious. ago. Now she's the first lady. We should celebrate her. Uh, no, some major. Sorry, wait, who who in America is celebrating the First Lady of France? I, I, I would be hard-pressed to find a lot of Americans who would even know who she was, to be honest. <laughs> like, and by the way, that's not a uniquely condemnation of America. I'd say the same thing about Canadians. <laughs> major update now happening. Major, major update. So let me tell you about how I happened upon this story. There was just an article that was published in the Daily Mail. Here is ah. the headline. Ah, see, I was like, so what's the source? But the source is, it's going to be the date. Okay, interesting. The proof France's first lady wasn't born a man. What? I was going, what? So I, of course, instantly read it, because what a bizarre thing that you're even needing to present proof that Brigitte Macron was not born a man. And embedded within the article, they showed two photos. What's fucked up about this is like you have enough to go on if you wanted to make some story out of this. You know, all the things you already said, which are actually factually based in reality. Where it's like, hey, by the way, uh, did you know it's kind of weird that they met each other when he was like still a teenager and that uh, even though they didn't have a relationship till he was uh, a little older, that's technically still her grooming him and that's, you know, pretty messed up. That there, you, you got yourself a story. You don't need to add the other side. 
the nonsense side. And I'm going to show you right now. This is the first photo. This is allegedly Brigitte Macron when she was a little girl sitting on her mom's lap. But when I saw this photo, the first thing I noticed. Oh, my God. This is the evidence. The evidence is, again, pictures. Why didn't you draw the green lines on everybody in the photo just to be able to add extra proof to it? This was that the person on the far left, the boy, that actually looks like Brigitte Macron. I'm taking you guys through my thought process. I saw this photo. I was like, that actually looks like she might actually be the guy. Maybe she's a dead ringer for her brother. But I don't see any resemblance there with the little girl. Let me show the second photo, debunking another young photo, allegedly, of Brigitte. Debunking what? Debunking the claims that you're making? Like, you can't do a post hoc debunking. <laughs> my phone. But I thought when I looked at this photo that this looks way too new <clears throat> to be a photo of a 70-year-old when they were a child. Now, again, these are my thought processes. When I then read the article, there was no debunking whatsoever. They just were calling people that were saying otherwise far right, you know, all the typical buzzwords, far right, conspiracy theorists, racist, sexist, it's homophobic, it's anti-Semitism. Just the thing that we are all now uh, wait, able what? to immediately look through these names. Sorry, no, it's like the words have meaning. <laughs> don't mean anything anymore. And that just makes me want to look further into the alleged theory. And I did. Okay. And holy smokes. Holy shit. So the quote unquote conspiracy theory is actually a three year thorough investigation that was by conducted by journalists oh. that were working with genealogists. It was published <laughs> in six issues in Fait et Documents. I'm sorry, my French is not that good, but they, yes, they no published worries. six issues unpacking <laughs> what they had discovered after a three-year investigation. And here Into the photos themselves? Please tell me they measured the photos and the proportions. Here is <laughs> okay. what they are saying, right? Okay. So again, I'm going to say allegedly, but this is what they have published. Yeah, but Their why theory is visual? that the first lady, Brigitte Macron, <laughs> was actually born Jean Michel. So Bridget is actually John Michael. John Michael lived as a man for 30 years, fathered five. Wait, sorry, sorry. We, we skipped a couple steps here. Was it a different name that she goes by? Is, is that it? Uh, uh, and wait, what that like, you know, you can have names and still not have a different gender, right? You know? I, if my name was Smance, that sure. I was, I was like, I, I want you to call me Smance for now. It'd be nice if that's what I wanted and people called me Smance. That doesn't mean my gender changes in the process. That's just, I just want to be called by a different name, really. Yeah, this, this is not a gender affirming care thing. This is not, you know, related to any of that. I just, I just prefer the sound of it. So please start doing that. I the children, okay, and then transitioned at the age of 30 to become Brigitte. Okay, now I'm just going to show you this before and after photo just right here. They actually used as a part of their investigation. All right. Well, uh, let's see. Brigitte Macron was born Brigitte Marie Claude Trogneux. It's not the same. It's a little different. Still has Brigitte as the first name. Uh, it would make sense that she had a different last name because she eventually married Macron. So there's that. Uh, she's the youngest of six children of uh, Simone and Jean Trogneux. Oh. Oh, sorry, you confuse the name of the father with her? Is this what this comes down to? Is this is this the conspiracy? The owner of five generations of chocolate. Oh, they're chocolate owners. The the the, the, the Trognons, uh, chocolateries. Uh, founded in 1872. The company now known as Jean Trognon uh, is run by her nephew, Jean Alexandre Trognon. Okay. Is there anything about the oh the, the controversy is not in here yet? They're, they're just waiting. They're playing catch up, I'm sure. Chinese software. Uh, and this oh, there they are. There they are. Oh, we got the lines. <laughs> nice. Is this from the genealogists? Have they added these? As you can tell here, based on the structure of the nose, clearly only that of a man could have such a face. Yeah, yeah. No, this is conclusive. This is conclusive. I'm glad. I'm glad we're getting the hard evidence. The side by side. Uh, it is such yeah, a ben dead ringer. It's crazy to me that uh, you would not say that these two individuals look alike. Uh, this is potentially the same. Yeah, I think this is the first time we've ever seen siblings, like people who are related, actually look related. The first time this ever happened. And then there are certain points uh, that you can point out towards, say that they have similar structures in a variety of ways. Uh, definitely, definitely proof that she's, in fact, trans. You've done it. You've done it, Candace. I'm glad you staked your entire reputation on this moment. Individual age. So on the left, what I'm showing you is John Michael. On the right is a photo 
of the first lady, okay? Hmm. Now, I will tell you why this has legs and why I'm going to encourage you to read the very long document that I read, which we will include in the link in bio. The first... I just want to know what the, the source is a little bit because the link's in bio. Uh, Pressbus.free.france. Okay. And I think we're going... Oh, it's a blog. Cool. All right. Introduction. This is not a rumor, but a solid case. You know, most solid cases that I uh, look into, they usually start that way. They have to say that right out of the gate, just so everyone knows, because otherwise, I mean, you would read this and you might be like, I just, I wonder if this is in fact a solid case. It is, it is, it's, it's in the very beginning. It's not a rumor. It is in fact a solid case, conclusively. The present page started from the remarks I made about Brigitte Macron last month uh, on a neighboring page devoted to the COVID crisis. A neighboring page, is it an anti-vax? thing oh this one <laughs> journal about the paranoia of COVID-19 though no, this it just looks as authentic as a website can possibly get from 1997 <laughs> all right uh after having read this whole file to date it seems relevant to me to treat the subject under its main angles by privileging the genealogical approach because it allows to more effectively understand what happened because I've experienced in the matter and because incidentally I'm a distant cousin by marriage to the Tronio family Ooh, we have a connection how did this matter come to me it had been a while since I'd heard the astonishing comments about Brigitte Macron née Tronio right wife of president of France uh, Republic Emmanuel Macron as for many people it was difficult for me to really understand the illusions in hindsight I realized that many people knew as far as the Macron Many people knew before the revelation of the existence of a hidden daughter. But then on December 18, 2021, I heard in an article by Eric Vahegg about the fact that the rumor is running with strange uh, vivacity, claiming that Brigitte Macron is in fact actually a man or trans. This assertion originally appeared in Fait et Documents in October 2021, but hardly aroused any passion. One wonders why, French by the way, mm, oh, you're, you're all wordsmiths, every single one of you. How do, how do you make even like the grossest of stuff sound as if it's some kind of sexy investigation behind the scenes? It didn't arouse any passion. Pressibus.free.france. I know that, um, you know, that Candace Owens doesn't speak French. She was quick to say that. But you can't try and make it sound like this was released on some kind of, like, bombshell publication just by saying that you don't know how to pronounce the name. If you were like, après... Précis, uh, précis, bues. Uh, it was in the précis bues publication. I'm sure a lot of people read it there. And then you're like, that. what, you mean someone's, like, fucking blog post? Yeah, if I wanted to see the media fake news. Le virus, c'est le media. The virus is the media. You know it firsthand. It's coming to you. That's right. In the current context, it's void. Uh, the void is a sign of great embarrassment because we know fake news are very quickly denied. The newspaper Liberation Mobilise is the front line to save respectability for the presidential couple. Also, they're trying to protect it by saying that this is fake news. Ah, uh, of course. While this investigation is thorough, long, and confusing. It goes into the family tree. All right, there it is, the saga of the family. Uh, the legend, uh, there's pictures of her on uh, magazine covers. Uh, clearly, without the lines, it's hard to tell what's going on here. The Wikipedia page entries have changed. Yeah, that's that's pretty conclusive. If we go down, other photos. Fait et document. This is to disrupt the very establishment. Uh, the family where jean Maitre Tronion grew up. Okay, you're going into the family tree. The photos are there. This is the bombshell. Ah, oh, and here we are. Here's here's where Candace Owens is getting these pictures. Le mime long oreilles. Ah, the long ears. That's true. The same long ears is what this is saying. Look at that. Relatives have similar features. That's what many people would tell you if they wanted to hide the truth, which is that, in fact, this is pretty conclusive here. The same long ears, right? You can see it. Use your eyes, people. Sheeple, wake up. Obvious thing, the first obvious reason that I am very much believing what they have published is because the first lady is simply unable to produce any photos of herself throughout the first 30 years of her life. Guys, how easy to debunk this. If you say, Candace, no, actually, you lived as a man for 30 years. I lived for 30 years. I'm going to show you every photo of every year that I've lived. Here's the thing, though. If the photos that do exist, including ones of Brigitte as a child, are currently being used to prove that she's, in fact, a man through, of course, the science of lines, you know, Ben Garrison style, uh, what's the stop? you and the rest of the people who are claiming that she's a man from now saying that uh, the new picture she releases also have the same problem. Similar features to her other relatives. 
because she looks related to her other relatives, which again is pretty much the conclusive proof here that she was in fact a man. Here's me in college, right? Here's me while I was pregnant with my children. Here's me and my husband on our wedding day. There would be- Lance, I'll be honest, it's more convincing that you're a Brendan Fla Fraser clone than anything else. That's, that's only a half truth. Be so many photos that Brigitte should have at her disposal if this is false. I gotta say, he got a lot of hatred for this, for appearing in Killers of the Flower Moon. And don't worry, this is no spoilers for Killers of the Flower Moon, but I gotta say, if there ever was kind of like a Kool-Aid man entrance in any film, it's gotta be Brendan Fraser in Killers of the Flower Moon, who's just randomly in the scene near the end of the film. After you've been watching it for almost three hours, suddenly he's in the courtroom scene, and then you're looking over and like, oh yeah, that's Brendan Fraser. <laughs> he's quiet for a long time, and then all of a sudden, I demand to speak! <laughs> he just he comes out of nowhere, and you're like, oh, whoa! All right, he's, he's not got a lot of lines, but he is willing to crush it, and I respect that. I respect that someone just coming in and being like, like, uh, I'm only in one scene. Yeah, just one scene. But, you you, you know, you, you can do what you want with the material. I will. I will. <laughs> but they won't produce any. Nope. They're just calling all of everybody wrong and backwards and transphobic. Just produce the photos. Instead, the only photos they have produced that are circling in the media are the photos that I just showed you. And as I sh said, the first photo, she looks more like the John Michael who she claims. So um, I'm hoping at this point no one ever takes Candace Owens seriously about anything ever again. She said that she was staking her reputation on this, and that is a very high claim. And then to come out of the gates with all this and be like, I have conclusive evidence. Just please give me the time, watch it for yourself, and then check the sources. And when you do, what do you find? Once again, we have the investigations that people, cis people, have obsessed themselves over. The, the, the real story here is that nothing would be absolutely at all wrong if someone became a politician or a famous politician and they were also trans. There's nothing wrong with that. Unless you hate trans people. Then if you hate trans people, you think the very idea of being trans is wrong. And then if someone happens to be trans and in a position of power, that's extra wrong. But everyone has been saying for a long time, you know what all of this, you know, trans misogyny is going to result in? It's going to result in a lot of cis women because there's way more cis women just you know, by ratio of the population. There's way more cis women on earth than there are trans women. So there's going to be way more cis women who are now subject to these forms of discrimination because people are trying to accuse them of being trans and therefore being bad. And that's why you're getting all these incidents where cis women are in bathrooms and they're getting these weird old perverts who are running into the bathrooms and being like, I need to see, I need to see, do you have a penis? Show me the penis, you're on camera. I'm gonna film your penis, pull out your penis so everyone can say it. And you're like, well, that's super fucked and you know, definitely uh, should be illegal. And that person probably should be criminally persecuted for all of this weird perversion and shit that they're doing. Um, but that's where it's headed, right? That, that's that's the logical conclusion of all this kind of shit. If you're constantly being like, A, bad to be trans. B, many cis people who pretend to be cis are secretly not biological females and they're evil because they're hiding the fact that they're not trans from the rest of us. ...is actually her brother, who she won't just... And also, I'm sorry, what is it? Are, are, are trans people part of a social contagion and they're doing what they're doing for social media credit and attention? Or is it that they are secretly trying to hide in the shadows and live among us as in some kind of secret society who are actually governing the highest positions of power? ...present to the public. If that is, in fact, your brother, please just go on a walk with him so we can capture it and say, ah, no, she just happens to look like her brother. Here's John Michael. No, John Michael has disappeared. The genealogist just can't find a single trace of John Michael since Brigitte came into the uh, public space. This one is so deeply embarrassing. I know why the rest of the right, even the people like this is their bread and butter. It's just like they make all their money from transphobia 24-7. Why aren't they running with this story? Like, what? why aren't I seeing like five videos by Ben Shapiro on this topic or six videos by, you know, Matt Walsh? Like, this is the, the greatest investigation that's ever happened. Candace Owens has broken this wide open and now everyone has to talk about it. Like, why isn't the higher right check doing 27 videos on like the proof is indisputable, blah, blah, blah. Like, is this too embarrassing even for them? Even this was like, oh, yeah, I don't know if this one. Yeah, it's kind of yeah. This one's not, not really gonna, not really gonna play well with the audience. Maybe I don't know. Directly from the first lady, it is very obvious that they are trying to dissuade the narrative <laughs> by producing these two photos, which are easily debunked. Here's a second reason that I would say major red flags. Rather than just producing what should be ample evidence of your existence for the first thirty years of your life, they're suing. Yes. The first lady actually sued 
two of the journalists that were involved in producing the story. Brigitte Macron, here's a headline from The Telegraph. Brigitte Macron sues women. I mean, that's going to be pretty wild if it's like, hey, discovery. Okay, here's my birth certificate. Here's the doctor. Here's a testimony from the doctor who delivered me. <laughs> who claimed that she is transgendered. Well, something to note is what exactly Brigitte is suing for. She's suing them for oh. violation of privacy and fundamental personal rights, plus illicit use of her image. But what does oh, that, mean? that doesn't mean? Anything. Like, Solid. why don't you say you completely lied and I can prove it and I'm going to ruin your entire lives? Which so uh, I'm glad now that we know uh, about the conclusive intense evidence. She talks about this for a while, but you can pretty much get a, a, a taste of what's going on here. Um, and then Candace Owens, I believe, is now doubling down. Blah Sorry. So we were trending in France yesterday. Yeah, Candace Owens trending in France. Kind of a I also, I love when the right does this thing where they'll say something which is just obviously completely conclusively disprovable, you know, like Ben Shapiro being like, yeah, uh, social security uh, should start when you're 67 and you should have to work forever because if you don't work forever, then you'll just end up dying right away because you have no purpose in life. And then everyone's like, there's a lot of things wrong with this. Here we go. And then afterwards, it's like Ben Shapiro breaks the Internet. And it's like, you, you can't do that, though, okay? You can't shit yourself with the worst possible take. Look around you, and then everyone's laughing at you. And then be like, looks like I just broke you all. <laughs> Rent-free. Yeah, that's right. And it's like, no, y'all are embarrassing yourselves. That's all that's happening here. Big deal. I love that. Why? For conducting basic research, for conducting a very basic investigation into the credible claims credible. of Brigitte Macron was actually born Jean-Michel Trogneau <laughs> and lived for 30 years. I'm just so happy that the source in this happens to be a link to a free blog website that like wouldn't even meet GeoCity standards. <laughs> like I said, 1997, I may be off on the year as to when websites were basically mostly text-based and all in italic font. <laughs> as a man before transitioning into a woman. Mm. And guess what, Emmanuel Macron? He's mad. You guys, he's big mad about this. Check out this headline coming from the Daily Mail. It says, furious Emmanuel Macron finally speaks out over claims his wife Brigitte was born a man. Ah, he's furious, guys. He's really mad. He's so furious. What is he going to do? Well, I would suggest he just shows photos from the first 30 years of his wife's life. It's really yeah, coward. Prove it, huh? What's wrong? Est-ce que tu es pale? Tu es pale, Macron? Qu'est-ce qui se passe ici, mon dieu? How many ad hominin attacks? No attempt to just debunk it. So yeah, can, can you not debunk again the free blog website <laughs> from 1997? Thank you so much for watching, everybody. We first want to give a shout out to everyone who makes this show possible. This program is produced thanks to the generous support of our Patreon supporters. Anna Loves Riley, Arian McCarthy, Cheryl Alvarez, Comrade Junkie, Doug Caddy, Everything Important, Hegbar Celine, Jimmy Sombrero, Multi Mondi, Omni, Peanut Butter Blondie, Political Papi, Preston Kroll, Quite 185, Richard Bomey, Riley and Anna, Roller Dragon, Ruby, Cernicus, Stellar Gwynn, Sebastian Demmel, Travis McClinton, and Words Greenwood. As well as every other person you see on the screen right now, this show would not be possible without them. And if you want to join these wonderful people who make this entire program possible, simply go to patreon.com slash the service and you can unlock uncensored and bonus episodes and, you know, help us exist.